Well, four people are dead, including the gunman who opened fire at a hospital in Chicago. This all started late this afternoon, happened at Mercy Hospital on the city's south side. Mayor Rahm Emanuel says a doctor, a pharmacy assistant, and a Chicago police officer are among those killed. Police say the shooting began outside the hospital with a verbal altercation between people who knew one another. And then a friend reportedly tried to intervene, and the suspected gunman pulled up his shirt and showed a weapon. Then gunfire erupted. The suspected shooter ran into the hospital where he was confronted by police. We heard some shots, so we all ran to the emergency room window. We see this guy out there, military style, shooting at the police. Pow, pow, pow. And he, like you know what he was doing, right? So then I, it was a, we, we looked and we seen a, 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 either a lady or a man laying down on, on the ground by the emergency, by the uh, main entrance. He turned around and just shot her again or him again. Pow, pow. And then he took off, ran up inside the, uh, the main entrance. Then once he ran inside the main entrance, the Sarge ran through the emergency room with his gun out, told us to get on the floor, get on the floor. We heard shots, bang, 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 bang. Yes, and then they came and told us to clear out because they had secured the area so far. Oh, just so scary. So officials still trying to figure out what the motive was behind this shooting. However, police say one of the people killed was in a domestic relationship with the gunman. Now let's talk about what's going on in the United States. There have been two mass shootings there. Four people were killed after a gunman opened fire outside a hospital in Chicago. A policeman was killed and the gunman is now dead in a separate incident in Denver, Colorado, one person has been killed and four others wounded. Police there are still looking for the gunman. Our North America correspondent Peter Bowes has been following these events for us. Another city, another shooting. This time at a hospital just south of downtown Chicago. The police say it started with a row in the car park between people who knew each other. The gunman first shot a woman with whom he was in a relationship and then headed inside the building, closely followed by several police officers. More shots were fired, apparently at random. It was like pow, 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 pow. It was extreme and it was very loud and it was close. So this is what happened. I don't know after that. SWAT came and got us out the utility room and made us walk across the street. And literally, as I'm stepping onto the pavement, I hear five shots or six shots. Bam, 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 bam. I drive my groceries. I say, head for the, you know, take cover. So we take cover. And at this corner, there was really nowhere to, to seek shelter. And we heard about six more shots. A doctor, a pharmaceutical assistant, and a police officer were all killed. The gunman is also dead. Those officers that responded today saved a lot of lives because this guy was just shooting that poor woman that got, get, got off an elevator, had nothing to do with nothing, and he shot her. Why? There's no doubt in my mind that all those officers that responded were heroes and they saved a lot of lives because we just don't know how much damage he was prepared to do. The city of Chicago is no stranger to gun violence. It's everyday life for people who live here. But this shooting has hit home harder than most. This tears at the soul of our city. It is the face and the consequence of evil. At about the same time, in another U.S. city, another shooting was unfolding. In downtown Denver, the police say the suspect is still at large. It leaves two more American cities in mourning today, the scourge of gun violence once again to blame. Peter Bowes, BBC News.